for, since brevity is the soul of wit and tediousness that limbs and outward flourishes, I will be brief. Your noble son is mad. Mad call I it, for to define true madness, what is it to be nothing else but mad? But let that go. Uh, more matter with less heart. Oh. Madam! I use no art at all that he is mad. Tis true, tis true, tis pity, tis pity, tis, tis true. A foolish figure, but farewell it, for I will use no art. Mad let us grant him then, and thus remains that we find the cause of this effect, or rather say the cause of this defect, for this effect defective comes by cause. <laughs> thus it remains, and the remainder thus. Perpend, I have a daughter to have while she is mine, who in her duty and obedience mark hath given me this. Now, gather and surmise. <clears throat> To the celestial and my soul's idol, the most beautified Ophelia. That's a vile phrase. <laughs> beautified is a vile phrase, but you shall hear thus. <clears throat> In her excellent white bosom, these came this from Hamlet to her. Good madam, stay a while. <laughs> I will be faithful. <clears throat> Doubt thou the stars are fire, doubt the sun doth move, doubt truth to be a liar, but never doubt I love. <laughs> oh dear Ophelia, I am ill at these numbers. I have not art to reckon my groans, but, I, but that I love thee best, oh most best, believe it, adieu, Hamlet. This in her obedience hath my daughter given to me, and moreover hath his solicitings as they fell out by time, by means, and place, all given to mine ear. When I saw this hot love on the wing, I went round to work, and thus to my mistress did I bespeak. Lord Hamlet is a prince out of thy star. This must not be. And then precepts I gave her, that she should lock herself from his resort, admit no messengers, receive no tokens, and this done, she took the fruits of my labor, and he repulsed a short tale to me fell into a sadness, thence to a watch, thence to a weakness, thence to a lightness, and by this declination into the madness wherein he now reigns. And all we mourn for. Do you think tis this? It may be very likely. Hath there been such a time, I'd fain know, that I have positively said tis so, and it has proved otherwise? <laughs> well, not that I know. Take this from this, if it be otherwise. <laughs> if circumstances lead me, I will find where truth is hid though it were hid indeed within the center. How may we try it? You know, sometimes he walks four hours together here in the lobby. Why, so he does indeed. At such time, I'll loose my daughter to him. You and I behind an arras mark their encounter. If he love her not, and be not from his reason fallen thereon, let me be no assistant to state, but keep a, a farm and cart him. We will try it. But look, where sadly the poor wretch comes reading. Away, I do beseech you both away. I'll board him presently. How does my good lord have it? Well, God of mercy. Oh, do you know me, my lord? Excellent well. You are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord? I, sir, to be honest as this world goes is to be one man picked out of 10,000. That's, that's very true, my lord. Have you a daughter? I uh, have, my lord. Let her not walk in the sun. Conception is a blessing, but not as your daughter may conceive. Friend, look to it. How say you that? Still harping on my daughter, yet he knew me not at first. He said I was a fishmonger. He is far gone. Far gone. What do you read, my lord? Words. <laughs> Words. Words. <laughs> what is the matter, my lord? Between who? I mean the matter that you read, my lord. Slanders, sir. For the satirical rogue says here that old men have gray beards and that their faces are wrinkled. All of which, sir, though I most powerfully and potently believe, yet I hold it not honesty to have it thus set down for. You yourself, sir, should be as old as I am. If, like a crab, you could go backwards. <laughs> Will this be madness, yet there is method in it. <laughs> Will you walk out of the air, my lord? Into my grave. 
Indeed, that is out of the air. How pregnant sometimes his replies are, with happiness that madness often hits on, which sanity and reason cannot so prosperously be derived of. I will take my leave of him and suddenly contrive the means of meeting between him and my daughter. My lord, I will most humbly take my leave of you. You can 